Hey, what's going on? Mark here for Unoriginal Noobs, here in Resident Explained, and in this episode of the tutorial series, I'm going to be showing how to make the farms that I made on my server play series, because I tried to explain how they worked on the server, but I don't think I explained them to their fullest, or kind of, or how to build them exactly, I kind of roughly explained how they work. So here I'm going to be showing you exactly how to build them. So I've gone in and I've built the basics. So all you need is a 3x3 three three plot, and I built three plots just so I can have three different types of seeds. And the basics of it is you want a harvester, and the harvester by default will harvest a 3x3 three three area directly in front of it, unless you put in upgrades. And the planter will plant within a 3x3 three three area directly above it. And you can put it one block below the block that you have your crops on, unless you put upgrades as well. Alright, so why don't we get right into it. So, a first few things that you'll need to know. Items traveling through item ducts want to find the shortest possible route. So if I took, uh, let me go grab this chest over here. If I took a crystal chest and put it here, all items coming out of this harvester are going to go directly into this crystal chest because it is the shortest possible route. All right, now we have to keep that in mind. So the way I have this automated is I block out slots in the planter and force items to go to the my to my product chest. So how do I do that? So keep in mind that items want to travel the shortest possible distance. So when the harvester harvests a crop, this can be vanilla crop seeds, or in my case on the server series, I used magical crops. So redstone and platinum seeds here I have for example. So when it mines out the crops, it's going to bring out the seeds, and it's going to bring out products with it, whether that's wheat, essence, whatnot. And all of those are going to go down this pipe and back into the planter's inventory because that is the shortest distance for those items to travel. We only want the seeds going back into the planter. We want the essence going into the chest. Okay, how do we do that? Easy. So first you want to plant the seeds that you're going to want to, that you're going to, want to automate. And then you're going to want to have, I'm going to recommend two seeds left over. So I have in my inventory to have some seeds left over here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put those seeds into the very first slot. So I put 32 redstone seeds into the very first slot, and I've already planted my redstone seeds up here. And then you want to fill in the rest of these slots with any other item. And by any other item, I mean any other item that isn't going to get harvested. So for dirt, you're never going to harvest dirt. So you can fill up the rest of the slots in here with dirt. Perfect. So what this does is the items want to find the shortest possible distance to travel. So when the seeds come out of here, the seeds can go into the planter because they, the seeds will continue to fill up this slot here. All right, so the shortest possible distance for the seeds will be to go down through this pipe here and then into the planter. Whoever the essence will have to go down this tube here and the only inventory it will be able to go in, once I put in the seeds for the other two planters here, will be into the chest because that is the only other inventory space that they have left. All right, so when we go ahead and I'll just put these seeds in for the rest of the crop spots here. And we'll just get some of the platinum seeds from here, put them into this, and then we'll fill the rest up with dirt. Easy, and we'll do that. And I have vanilla seeds just so you just you just so you can see that it works with any type of crop. It doesn't just work with magical crops. It will work with any type of crop. And then we'll put these seeds into here. Oops. I just want to put half in there so that there's some room to add some seeds. And perfect. Okay. So if I go ahead and I have the magic fertilizer, which kind of makes these crops instantly grow. So if I grow this redstone quickly, and then the, the harvester harvests it, you can see the seeds are going down because that is the shortest distance that they can go. And then the essence is just going to keep going down this pipe. It won't go into the harvesters because the harvesters are set to output and there's not really any inventory slots in the harvester. So the only other inventory slot is to this crystal chest. So you can see if I get some of this item duct and I extend the item duct out here and I put a crystal chest here, you can see that even though, actually I'll just re, I'll do this just so you can see it as well. So you can see the platinum seeds go to the right because their shortest possible distance is into the planter. And then the essence will continue to go and it won't go down there because there's no inventory for it down here. And then the essence will continue to go this way. And then 
you can see that all the essence goes straight into this chest because that's the shortest distance. It does not make a right turn into the crystal chest. And what you can also do is you can take the crescent hammer, whoops, and you can set it, uh, one of the pipes before the chest to dense so that it will basically guarantee that no seeds will be going this direction. And what's cool about this is once this inventory slot does fill up, so let's put in the rest of the seeds, any excess, excess seeds now, instead of going down, you can see that now all the seeds and the essence go to the right because there's no inventory slot for the redstone seeds down here. There's no room for them. So all the seeds now go... Well, okay, you can see some of them went down because the planter replanted the seeds and it emptied out that slot a bit. But you can see that now all the excess... Ec, God dang it. Sorry. All the excess seeds go this way into the crystal chest along with all the essence. So that's how you build this little planter thing and automated harvester that I made on my survival uh, server play series. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. I'll see you again later. Bye.